Welcome back to episode 18. Hey, we're Harry and Nikki. We're 22 and 21 years old. And in November 2020, we bought a 17-seater Ford Transit minibus, which we're currently converting into our tiny home on wheels. Our aim is to travel around Europe as soon as the pandemic allows. We have documented our whole camp van conversion process so far, so keep watching to see what we've done this week. So last week we managed to get our work surface onto our kitchen and finish off our wardrobe. So if you haven't seen last week's video, the link will be in the description below. I feel like we got quite a lot done. But today it is a Monday and we're going to start by finishing off some painting in our kitchen and adding in an extra strut just to support the kitchen surface. Yeah, just the odd little bits and bobs that we need to get done that will like make the whole thing look finished. So... We're going to power on with that now. Tuesday today and today we are powering on continuing with what we were doing yesterday. Hi guys, what's going on? It's Thursday today and today we are finishing off our kitchen drawers, a door for our kitchen and some trim for our kitchen and wardrobe. So starting with the kitchen drawers, we've already got some of our ply cutouts which we started earlier in the week. We're going to use some 94 by 22 timber struts to put on the front of our drawers. So we're going to measure them and get them cut now. <laughs> To attach the thicker piece of timber, we pre-drilled and screwed some Spax 30mm long screws into the side of the plywood and directly into the timber. And for the other plywood end, we just wood glued them together and put weights on them to strengthen the bond. We then wood stained the plywood boxes with our Ronsil Natural Oak 10 year wood stain. And we painted the front timber piece with Leyland Brilliant White Paint. We then found these tiny pieces of scrap wood, which we thought we could cut up into pieces and wood stain to go on the front of the drawers. We stuck them on with wood glue and later also had to screw them in, each one on each side, to ensure they wouldn't fall off. Then we moved on to making the bases for the drawers. We templated around what we had already, Harry jigsawed it out and sanded them down. We then placed them over the bottom side of the drawers and proceeded to screw them in through the bottom using 16mm spack screws. Then it was time to secure the black cup handles we'd bought from eBay. We screwed them in using 12mm spack screws. We then secured the mini cupboard door, which we had made out of a beaded MDF offcut. We used these 100mm long black traditional hinges, which we bought from Wix for 75p each. We'd also bought this corner edging piece from Wix, which we would stain three times the previous day, ready to be attached to the corner of the wardrobe. We decided to use three 12mm small spack screws to secure this in place. Hey, so it's Friday and my mum, Sophie, is over here because she is driving our van to the Weybridge. She's got insured for like five hours this morning, so hopefully it's under 3.5 tonnes. Yeah. And then we can get it insured if it is. Hi Sophie. Say hi mum. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, oh. this is my mum. What's your name? My name's Where are you from? <laughs> Fun fact about yourself. <laughs> What's your name? Where'd you come from? <laughs> I'm from Guildford, so I've driven over today. <laughs> right. Okay. Weybridge. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Weybridge. How do you feel? I need to pull this. Oh, it's just turned off. I've... What happened there? That's the whole point. The car just turns off sometimes. Oh, okay. 
Let's give it another whirl, shall we? If not, you, I think Harry pumps the gas, the brake. Does he now? Uh, well, it's like, there you go. Right, so we've just been to the Weybridge, we're on the way back home now. Yeah. What did it come in at, Nick? It came in at, was it 2990? So just under three tonnes, so we've got half a tonne to work with. Yeah, for... Cut me off. Sorry. <laughs> we've got half a tonne to work with for decorations and stuff like that. <laughs> decorations. Decorations. <laughs> a lot of decorations. Like a Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the summer. Yeah, but yeah, lots of, um, half a tonne to work with, so lots of room. Yeah. Uh, so we're on the way back now. Nikki and Nikki's mum are going to get on with some upholstering. Yeah, we're going to do cushions. our seat cushions. So that's exciting. Because mum um, does sewing as a, another job. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Sophie owns a uh, sewing company. So, <laughs> all right, see you in a bit. See ya. <laughs> So comfy, so amazing, so well sewed. Thanks. Congratulations, you and Sophie. So that is all for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We just got lots of little bits done. Nikki made these lovely cushions um, yesterday. She sewed them together herself, which she was quite proud of. She also made this lovely flag, we keep calling it. Um, but yeah, this is gonna go on the back of one of our cupboard doors, as you can see now. And hopefully it's just gonna store our cutlery so we don't have to waste one of our drawers for that. But yeah, just lots of little things done this week. Next week, we are going to be installing our 240 volt system again with our inverter, also putting in our water tanks and plumbing in our sink. So that's exciting, so it'll be more livable in here. We've just started planning our trip around Europe, so hopefully we'll be able to get over the border soon. So we're asking you guys to please leave a comment in the description below of some lovely places to visit in Europe, anywhere you think has been great that we don't wanna miss out on. So any camp spots or any just beaches that you guys have been to or cities, make sure you leave them in the comments down below because that would be extremely useful. But thanks for watching guys. Make sure if you guys haven't already, go follow our Instagram at The Vambitious Project to keep up with our build. Um, but yeah, we will see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>